You shouldn't use my name. Dodson! Dodson! We've got Dodson here! Well, happy day! I've been waiting to make a video on this for so long, I didn't think it was ever gonna happen, but it finally happened. I'm going off the script, guys. I am so excited. It was just announced that Lewis Doxson, one of the most notorious characters in the Jurassic Park franchise, has been cast, and Campbell Scott is playing him. I can't... Oh, I'm, I'm literally... I'm so excited, because Lewis Doxson is one of the most important characters in the entire franchise. He's one of these characters that he is responsible for everything that happened in the books and in the films. And despite the fact he is a small character, he just had a cameo appearance in the first book. And in the books, he's huge. He was a big part of it in the first novel, and he's even bigger in the Lost World. Lost World novel and Lost World film are two completely different films. And it's so great to finally see that I, and I called it, I called it for years. Ever since Jurassic World came out, I'm like, Louis, they're gonna introduce Lewis Doxson. They're gonna bring him back. They're gonna bring the character back and he, cause he is responsible for all this, and wouldn't it be great if he was in the in the shadows this whole time, working with Doctor Wu and and the characters in in Jurassic World and Fallen Kingdom? And honestly, I was actually pissed when Fallen Kingdom came out, not because of the film. I mean, the film's probably not my favorite Jurassic Park film, but I was pissed because Ted Levine was a character was a character. He was cast as a character, and in the film, he's just a, a mercenary. And I'm like, when they cast Ted Levine in the film, I'm like, oh my god. He's Dachshun. This is it. Dachshun is finally going to appear in a Jurassic Park film since the original film. And then he's just some mercenary, and it was just such a disappointment. I'm like, what the hell? Why would you cast such an A-grade character like him, an actor, and then not, like, have him be an overarching villain? Because Ted Levine is amazing. It rubs the lotion on its skin. But uh, I, I was actually pissed when that happened, and then he just gets killed like another. I'm like, ugh. So it was a waste of, his, of Ted Levine. So now... We finally get Lewis Doxson, played by Campbell Scott. I think the guy's actually a really good actor. I'm really excited. And he actually does kind of look like the the original actor, Cameron Thor, who could not come back to play the part because he's a registered registered sex offender. So I'm not going to talk about that anymore. So I'm just super excited because I... I've been calling this for years. I'm like, Louis Doxson's gonna be in Jurassic World. Well, he wasn't in Jurassic World. Well, he's gonna be in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, because Ted Levine, I thought Ted Levine for sure was gonna be the character. And now, finally, my wishes have been answered, and Louis Doxson is finally coming into Jurassic World Dominion, and I can't wait. I mean, they must have been holding back on this, or they just cast him now. Ah, I'm so excited, because now this will bring everything full circle from the original film bringing back the original antagonist that started it all off is also going to be the one that ends it and i can't wait because the Do uh biosyn which is the company that lewis doxson is part of apparently now he's the president whereas before in the original film he was just kind of the guy that stole the information of all the companies so that his company would prosper but now it seems like he's actually the head of it which is something i'm so proud of because I'm glad that they're finally making Dachshund the actual villain. He's not going to be the sidekick. He's not going to be obeying someone else's orders. He's going to be the one giving the orders and say, Hey, get me those dinosaur DNA so we can take over the world. Which is actually something that the the games and the books kind of cover. The books, he he kind of wanted, he wanted to get the dinosaurs off the island in the Lost World novel. And then in then the games, there was uh, several games like Chaos, the Chaos Continues, Jurassic, Lost World, the Chaos Continues, or Jurassic Park, Chaos Continues. Doxson was a major player in that game, and he was like the main antagonist, and he wanted to, I believe, I haven't played the game in such a long time, in fact, I can't remember what much about it, but I do know that he wanted to weaponize the dinosaurs, which is what they were going to do with Jurassic Park 4, the original pitch, and then, and Jurassic World. So, I'm super excited for what they're going to do next. This is something, that when I heard this news, I was flipping out of my mind, like, this is something I've been waiting for. And I knew it was coming. I'm like, they're not going to finish off this new trilogy without the villain. Now, it's almost like a Rise of Skywalker kind of thing. But, unlike Palpatine, Dachshund is actually a major player in the books. And who knows, maybe he's been alive this whole time. He never died. It's not like Palpatine. Louis Dachshund never died in the original film. So he could have been planning everything, all the events that happened since the original film to Jurassic World Dominion could have been because of him. He could have been the one financing everything. And now that we have dinosaurs across the world and those genetic materials all around, all bought by all these evil people, it's clear that either Dachshund is responsible for most of this happening or that he is the one that's going to get his hands on it and then he's going to make his own dinosaurs and it's just going to be chaos. 
Oh, I mean, this is just probably some of the best news I've heard all year, and it's a perfect way to end the month of Jurassic June with it with one of the best casting announcement announcements I've ever heard. Oh, I cannot wait to see what they do with Lewis Doxon. I really hope they don't screw him up because this character is one of my favorite villains in literature ever, and I cannot wait to see where they go with it. So, thank you guys for watching my little freak out about uh, Lewis Doxon joining Jurassic World Dominion, and I'll be seeing you guys later.